It's good to have a couple of representatives, uh, business representatives, one GE multinational, the other one energy business, any also a multinational companies. And we are here to talk about Europe and how Europe feels to you right now. Now, one of the things I heard about uh, Ambrosetti comments, yes, people talk about the situation, but I'm lacking vision. I want to talk to you about vision today, about where the companies may take economies going forward. Let's start with Nani right now. Visions, you're a visionary. You've been a visionary for a long time. You talk about the light at the end of the tunnel. Where are we right now and where is the light and what is it? The facts are that Europe is turning around. I think that we touched the bottom of the situation around the fourth quarter of last year and the first quarter of this year. Uh, it's not a uniform approach that we have, but it is very much scattered and depending on the situation. We have, for instance, and I'm sure that Giuseppe can talk about it, in the North Europe, in the North Sea, an incredible economic push due to the exploration and exploitation of the new oil reserves in the North Sea, which is, which is creating a real boost for the economy. We have Central Eastern Europe, which is affected positively by the financing of the European Union to bring the infrastructure up to the level that other European countries have. And, uh, you know, this uh, recovery in Central Eastern Europe or this growth in Central Eastern Europe is really led more by Poland than uh, anybody else. Uh, we have Germany that continues to be the primary engine of growth for Europe. And I have to say that from a point of view of our company, from a point of view of GE, when we look at our portfolio order, even, um, even Spain is beginning to recover. So what I find here at Ambrosetti is that there is somewhat of a disconnect. I don't want to be challenging, but there is somewhat of a disconnect between the economists on one side that are still forecasting really a big gloom and what the order, incoming order of a company like GE is reflecting which on the other side is uh, somewhat positive. You know, it's not that Europe is out of problems completely. The patient is still sick, is still in the hospital, but cut out, got out of the, of the intensive care. So we are on the right way. So, Giuseppe, do you agree with Nani? Are we seeing a bit more positive development? I think I should spend more time together with Nani because it gives a big injection of optimism, which uh, helps the situation. I, I can tell you the numbers we see from the energy side. So um, the, the consumption of uh, petrol is, uh, is still low. Consumption of energy uh, is still declining quarter on quarter. We're still two or three percent down. So um, energy is really a, a matrix for what's happening in the economy on the short term. Uh, but I'm glad to hear GE because uh, if they see their orders growing, there are metrics for the medium longer term. So probably we are at the turning point. Uh, everybody feels uh, the bottom has been reached. The point is to understand if this is due to structural reason or because, or is, if it is due to the fact that people are really bored about this crisis. People can't stand the crisis anymore. You feel a pressure from entrepreneurs or from workers definitely to come back to a positive situation. And this is not a non-influential element. Actually, I would say it's a key element. So the, the distributed uh, feeling and uh, expectation is it, it what gives optimism and creates spending and creates growth. So motion creates emotion and that is a little bit more positive. But I wonder, of course, talking about monetary policy as well, we had the ECB, easy money, easy business. Do you actually see it also in your order pipeline that people are not only fatigued about the crisis, but they say, hey, we actually could get out of it if we make sure we get the cheap money? But if I'm, I might take a start, Giuseppe is absolutely right when he reflects the situation for a company like GE, which is on the long cycle kind of business. As a matter of fact, if you think about the aviation, generally speaking, all the airlines in Europe are renewing the fleets. When you look at uh, Air France, when you look at British Airways, Iberia, uh, Lufthansa, they are all investing today in new equipment. So these are long-term commitments that they are taking. If you look, for instance, at the renewable energies, uh, there is an incredible investment in Germany in this moment, for instance, due to the Energiewende policy of the Merkel government, but it's not only because of that. It is that there is really a recreation of a different system of energy compared to the one that was based on the nuclear power, and so on. So there are some heavy investments that are happening right, right now in Europe. 
I'm sure that when you talk about the gas consumption, it's more the consumer, and I, I, I can see that the consumer might still suffer. So as we are starting to get to the limit of our little panel, I just wonder about, if you look at Europe, and we've seen Europe trying to crawl out of the crisis, what would you say, if you could, to the European leaders right now, are the three key main agenda points they should worry about? Giuseppe. I think that entrepreneurs as well as financial market look for, like in a company, two basic things. First is a business plan and second is a credibility for the execution. So business plan for a policy makers means uh, planning uh, your industrial strategy, your energy strategy, your um, welfare strategy. So the set of reforms that gives uh, um, the governance a better track. Today, the feeling is still that all the, the European Union is kind of confused through, through many um, regulatory system and uh, even in the national agenda, uh, the political execution capacity is, is not that strong. And it, should be. and it should be. And the second point, like in the turnaround of a company, is execution. So, so you need to build uh, your credibility. If you're credible, you can execute it. And, uh, and on this respect, stability of government, stability of local consensus is a key factor because entrepreneurs are not much driven uh, by um, tiny decision of the government. They are driven by the confidence of what they should expect about their uh, tax planning, about their pension retirement, about their investment returns.